experience to all of humanity is really a joy, it's a pleasure, it's an honor to be out there as usual in nature bringing this message of self-realization to you whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover your identity, to be your divinity. This message is a message of emancipation and as long as you apply the teaching of this message, you're going to be happy, healthy, wealthy and wise. And that is what I want to speak to you about today concerning how God wants you to be happy, healthy, wealthy and wise. And when I speak about God, I am not like the preachers who normally speak about God, but they never tell you who is God. Okay, God is your own human imagination, which is the creator in man. Many people refer to God as the Almighty, many refer to God as the Creator, but they do not explain or simplify what they are speaking about to you. Many may have you to believe that it's a power outside of yourself. Many have you to believe that it is a man in the sky. But my teaching is that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is the Bible secular history. For the Bible is written symbolically and it has no reference to anyone that existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that took place upon earth thousands of years ago. My teaching is that from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22, it's all a great psychological drama. It's all about the human psyche and every character in the Bible exists in your imagination. So my brother, my sisters, all these characters in the Bible, they are states of mind, are states of consciousness. You're just thinking about that character and it's actually a thought in your mind. It's not an actual person that did exist. Now, when you come to realize that it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and that you can create your reality consciously, then you come to understand that the God in you, who is the creator and who is your savior and your healer, you will come to realize what he wants for you. Because when you know that the kingdom of God is within you, and Luke 17, 21 tells you that you must look within to discover the kingdom. He said, don't let anyone tell you, low here, I'll look there. For the kingdom of God is within you. The savior is within you. The Redeemer is within you. The Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, whichever name you want to call it, is within you. That's the power of remembrance to bring you into that place of knowing who you are or to remember who you are because you were born in this world of amnesia. Or when you're born in this world, you're born in a state of amnesia, which is a state of forgetfulness. So that power that is inside of you is the real you and that power is what they refer to as the spirit now when you come to realize that your energy vibration and frequency you come to realize that the thought is a vibrational frequency and also you come to realize that you are just a spirit having a human experience so you are eternal therefore you are to be living this life in a state of love and not a state of fear for the greatest energy is the love energy so instead of you living in doubt and living in fear you're supposed to be living knowing who you are and that gives you power to live in a place of joy and happiness now the Bible clearly states that above all things I wish that you prosper and be in good health as your soul prosper now prosperity is your birthright wisdom is your birthright happiness is your birthright Health is your birthright. That is why you are told in Philippians 4, 13, I believe, that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Now that Christ that strengthens you is the inner man, the immortal man, 
which is the very life in you. For God is life and life is God. You can't separate God from life or life from God. So don't let anyone have you to believe that Christ is some man who existed 2,000 years ago. Christ is the higher state of consciousness. It's the highest version of yourself. So when you look to that self that is within you, there's no way that you can be kept by fear. So all the psychological warfare that is going on to using 5G and people are saying it's virus and all of these things it, you know the whole thing is that we are uh, electrical beings we are magnetic beings and so on and so everything that they do in the realm of science and technology it will affect us okay it is just as simple as that that is why it is very important to meditate that's why it is very important to align yourself with nature. That's why it's very important to find yourself in places like this, where you can breathe in, as Ralph Smart would normally say, that good of prana, okay? Whereby you can have enough oxygen within you because we're supposed to be one with our environment, okay? Uh, one with nature, I should really say. So my brother and my sisters, your mantra, each and every day is supposed to be, I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am wise. Before you ask for anything else. That has always been my mantra. And I want to always share it with you. And I want you to always repeat it. Upon waking up in the morning and upon going to bed. Always say that I am. Because I am is the name of God from generation to generation. And it's your memorial. And you can never say, I am, and not referring to yourself. So when you say, I am happy, it means you are in that state of mind whereby you're not dwelling under fear or doubt or any kind of unbelief. You're in a place of bliss. You're a place of joy. When you say that you are healthy, it means no 5G, no virus, no sickness, no disease would overcome you. Because you're not going to just jump on the, on the bandwagon of those who fear and trying to claim healing. You're always repeating it and saying it all the time and giving your subconscious mind that feeling of good health. So I'm happy. I'm healthy. Always. It's supposed to be a part of your lifestyle. I am wealthy. When you say that over and over and over in your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind, which is impartial, will receive that feeling and it will create the events that will bring it to pass in your life. And when you say that you're wise, wisdom is basically when you take knowledge and you apply knowledge. Wisdom is apply knowledge. Many people say that knowledge is power, but I always say that applied knowledge is power because only when you apply the knowledge, it becomes power and it really becomes wisdom. So my encouragement to you, to always let your mantra be, I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am wise. That's why at this time, when everyone is panicking and, and, and worrying themselves about corona and worrying themselves about concerning an economic downturn, when they're worrying themselves about all these things and the, the, the preachers are continuing to deceive the religious people and telling them what they want to hear and make them believe that this is some last day event and all of this foolishness they have been successful by bringing those people under fear because those people have been dwelling under the energy of fear all the time but my brother my sisters I've been dwelling under this energy of love all the time so Corona doesn't mean anything to me. I've been always, every morning I wake up, I always say, I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am wise. Before going to any other desire, because basically, when I use those words, it cover everything. If you are happy, you don't, you, you don't be sick and happy. You don't be sick and healthy. You don't be poor and wealthy. You don't be living in poverty and being wealthy. Because poverty is of the mind. It's have to do with your mentality. 
You don't be wise and believe in foolishness or speak in foolishness or listening to foolishness or dwelling on foolishness. That's partaking of foolishness. Got foolishness in, foolishness out. So my brother, my sisters, when you say I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy and I am wise, you're actually covering everything. And so when you put your desire in, whatever the desire might be, and you be so definite with your desire, these things will come to for you, but you have to actually believe it deep within. You have to be truly happy. You have to be truly healthy, wealthy and wise from within. Because everything is within and everything exists in the human imagination. So my brother, my sister, this is my encouragement to you to stand strong. Believe in yourself. Never doubt yourself. God is the self of man. In this time, look to self. Don't look to no God outside of yourself. Don't look to no God in the sky. Look to self. Get into meditation. Go to bed more consciously. Awake more consciously. Use your affirmation. Use scripting to fulfill your every desire. Habakkuk says to write down the vision. And even though if it tarry, just wait. It is divine law. So as long as you walk by these laws, my brother, my sisters, you can never go wrong. So that is my encouragement to you. Always go. But many times I go before the mirror. I like to do my mantra right before the mirror, seeing myself. Okay, because that reflection that you're beholding in the mirror, that's your true self, that's your real self. That's the God in you. And you're saying, I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am wise. You're not saying it from a place of fear and doubt. You see, some people right now, it might be hard for them to say that and really believe it because Corona caught them by surprise because they wasn't practicing these things in their life. Every time they wake up in the morning, they go through their same routine all the time. They're in a paradigm. And it might be they wake up and the first thing they're trying to do is get themselves ready to go to work because they're chasing after money because they get caught up in the, in the getting instead of the being. But when you understand that the first thing you have to look after is yourself, which is your higher self, then you are form. I am happy. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. Because you have to always think about that which you want, not that which you don't want. You don't wake up worrying if you're going to get fired from a job or worrying if you're going to reach to work early or late. You don't wake up worrying about those things. You wake up thinking of those things that you so desire and you have formed them. And what, what can you desire more than happiness? That's what we all so much desire in this world. What do you desire more than health? Your health is your wealth. What, 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 what do you desire more than living in a, a, a sum, having a sum just life? And what can you desire more than wisdom? Everyone wants to be wise. Everyone wants to know that he or she has acted wisely. And remember, as I said before, it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and that you can create your reality consciously. So that means that my brother and my sisters that my encouragement to you and I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And if this, if this is the first time that you are listening to me and what I'm saying, if it's making sense to you, it's resonating with you and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment or to share this video. And also to remember that this message I bring to you, it is the single eye. The single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 622 says, if I be single, your whole body will be full of light. And my brother and my sister had not been that that I has awakened within me where I ascend like a fiery being and hurry and earthly wind and exit my skull, fulfill St. John chapter 3 and come to realize that the story of the Virgin Mary is the greatest lie that has ever been told to humanity. My brother and my sister, it's not a board from down below, it's a board from above. It's a yin and a yang. The woman has a womb that is below and she brings forth from down below. But every human upon the face of this earth has a womb that is above and from above we bring forth that spiritual experience which Isaiah 7 14 says it's a sign. Behold I give you a sign, I show you a sign, a virgin. 
It's a virgin boat. It's a boat without sex. Had not been that I've come to have that experience, I wouldn't have been here. Bring this message of self-realization to you and always give you the symbol of the single eye. Saying to you that this eye that you see above the pyramid and the money is not an evil symbol of an organization as many would think. Even though they give you that impression, it's a chick. That I represent the all-seeing eye of God in you, which is your own human imagination, the creator in each and every one. For you will have an awakened imagination, and you come to realize that that experience is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N, and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. Therefore, without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. For the sun is the giver of all life. Not Jesus Christ, a man 2,000 years ago. Because the sun has always been before every S-O-N. And the Bible says in Psalms 84:11 that the Lord thy God is a sun, as in a S-U-N and a shield. And no good thing would he withhold from you. Also, in Malachi 4 and 2. It is said that the sun, as in the S-U-N, of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. That's why I'm bringing healing to you by letting you know that without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And without the sun, there's no life and no lights. So the sun parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. And that's why my encouragement to you is to always use your mind power, which is your solar power, your sun power, your creative power, your God power to achieve your every. Desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.